uh, lesson 2.3 talks about mathematical reasoning, no? So in mathematics, it is very important for you to be able to understand, especially on how to create proof. And uh, of course, dili lang kay magimu imu lang ka og proof diha, but your proof must be valid. You should be able to identify which statement or argument is valid or invalid. And that's what we are going to discuss this afternoon. So before proceeding, I want you to watch this video and we will try to solve the problem or we will try to solve the logic here on this video. Taking that internship in a remote mountain lab might not have been the best idea. Pulling that lever with the skull symbol just to see what it did probably wasn't so smart either. But now is not the time for regrets, because you need to get away from these mutant zombies fast. With you are the janitor, the lab assistant, and the old professor. You've gotten a head start, but there's only one way to safety. Across an old rope bridge spanning a massive gorge. You can dash across in a minute, while the lab assistant takes two minutes. The janitor is a bit slower and needs five minutes. And the professor takes a whole ten minutes, holding onto the ropes every step of the way. By the professor's calculations, the zombies will catch up to you in just over 17 minutes. So you only have that much time to get everyone across and cut the ropes. Unfortunately, the bridge can only hold two people at a time. To make matters worse, it's so dark out that you can barely see, and the old lantern you grabbed on your way only illuminates a tiny area. Can you figure out a way to have everyone escape in time? Remember, no more than two people can cross the bridge together. Anyone crossing must either hold the lantern or stay right next to it, and any of you can safely wait in the dark on either side of the gorge. Most importantly, everyone must be safely across before the zombies arrive. Otherwise, the first zombie could step on the bridge while people are still on it. Finally, there are no tricks to use here. You can't swing across, use the bridge as a raft, or befriend the zombies. Try. First, kinsakaha. So we can have. So again, ikaw can travel in one minute. Tapos ang imulab assistant can travel in two minutes. Tapos. Ang janitor, five minutes. Then the professor, ten minutes. Okay, so first, way. So na bit bit na ka, pwede ka ikaw, no? So pwede ikaw, o ang lab assistant. Okay, so since si lab assistant kay makatrabo siya two minutes, so ang iya time ang ato basihan. Okay, so two minutes. Right? So, ato pabalikon. Okay? Pabalikon na to ang or ikaw, mubalik ka nga to. No? Kaya ikaw may pinakapaspas. Since makatravel lang ka o one minute, nga nung mubalik man ka, it's because imo kuhaon or pwede ni mo, dili ka mubalik kay imo mang gibit-bit ang lantern. You have to bring back the lantern to the other end, to the starting area because Maoma na siya ang maghatag og light. Of course, inyo, dilik mo makakita sa agianan kung wala ang lantern. Kaya naaman nga sa condition in our problem that you have to bring the lantern with you. Okay? Remember that on the other side, naapangari ang professor og ang janitor. Now, karon, sa karon, kinsa naman sad ang mo padongari sa pikas. So, imo ihatag ang lantern ni professor og ni janitor. So, si professor karon og si janitor mag-travel pa dong sa safe nga side. So, si professor kay 10 minutes, si janitor kay 5 minutes. So, ato kuhaon gamiton si professor kay siya may pinakahinay. So, dili man pwede nga biyaan si professor. Okay? So, ato ag dun kung kinsa ang pinakahinay. So, this is 10 minutes. So, a total of 13 minutes na. 
no? So, nakakay 2 plus 1 plus 10, so 13. Now, imo na po, ibalik nga to si Lantern. Remember, nahabilin ka nga rin. Kay imo, gihatag ang Lantern ni Professor or ni Janitor, so nagpabilin ka nga sa side. Tapos, safe na nga si Professor o si Janitor. Nag-travel sila 10 minutes. Remember, nga naa na diha ang aside si lab assistant. So si lab assistant karon kuhaon niya ang lantern gikan ni professor or ni janitor. So si lab assistant mo travel siya in 2 minutes. Okay? Kay kuhaon ka ni lab assistant padong adto. So karon ikaw og si lab assistant, okay? Ikaw og si lab assistant mo travel ka to the safe end of the bridge in 2 minutes. So naa na ang lab assistant, naa na ka, naa na ang professor, naa na ang janitor. Safe na mo tanan in 17 minutes. Okay? Nakafollow? Ito ang ato answer. At first it might seem like no matter what you do, you're just a minute or two short of time, but there is a way. The key is to minimize the time wasted by the two slowest people by having them cross together. And because you'll need to make a couple of return trips with the lantern, you'll want to have the fastest people available to do so. So, you and the lab assistant quickly run across with the lantern, though you have to slow down a bit to match her pace. After two minutes, both of you are across, and you, as the quickest, run back with the lantern. Only three minutes have passed. So far, so good. Now comes the hard part. The professor and the janitor take the lantern and cross together. This takes them ten minutes, since the janitor has to slow down for the old professor, who keeps muttering that he probably shouldn't have given the zombies night vision. By the time they're across, there are only four minutes left, and you're still stuck on the wrong side of the bridge. But remember, the lab assistant has been waiting on the other side, and she's the second fastest of the group. So she grabs the lantern from the professor and runs back across to you. Now, with only two minutes left, the two of you make the final crossing. As you step on the far side of the gorge, you cut the ropes and collapse the bridge behind you, just in the nick of time. Maybe next summer you'll just stick to the library. Hey. So now let's proceed to the second task. We are going to prove 1 is equal to 2. So our assumption here, our argument here is that we are going to prove 1 is equal to 2. Right. So I will show you how to prove 1 equals 2. I'll be just using algebra here to solve or to prove that 1 is equal to 2. So this is my argument. This is my conclusion. So I have, I'll, I just have to make some statements or premises or assumptions so that I could end up to proving one equals two. So if I'm going to make an assumption that A is equal to B, okay, wherein A is one, B is two, and A and B, okay, A and B are all element of real numbers. Okay, so I this is my first assumption. No? If I will let A is equal to B, A representing 1 and B representing 2. Okay, so kaya lang sila ako gilet, no? And then I'm going to multiply both sides by A. Any number or an equation multiplied by a, uh, a same or the same number is just the same. So let's say, so this will become a squared equals ab. Okay? So a times a, a squared, a times b, that's ab. Okay? And then, what will happen if I'm going to subtract b squared in both sides? Okay? And then I factor out a squared minus b squared. So using factoring, I can factor out that one by a plus b times a minus b 
Then common aning duha is B. So ako ipagawa si B. So A minus B. Right? And then, I will be dividing both sides. Kay common manila ang A minus B. So how about if I'm going to divide both sides by A minus B? So that I can cancel out this one. Okay? So mahabilin nga rin is only A plus B equals B. Going back to our first statement or first assumption, we let A is equal to B. Therefore, I can just replace A with B. Okay, equal mukha sila. So I can just replace A with B. So B plus B, okay? Ito na siya. Equals B. But B plus B is equal to 2B. Equals B. Dividing both sides by B. Cancel. This will give us 2 equals B. B over B, that will give us 1. Because any number divided by itself is just 1. So there, I just prove 1 equals 2. Obviously, 1 is not equal to 2. We know that. Bisa ba, grid ba na mo pangutan na 1 is not equal to 2. But how come na prove na to siya? Naatay sa'yo, ano, minor lang siya na nakalimta na to. Here, kani siya nga line. Okay? Remember, that we have already made an assumption that A is equal to B. Diba? Therefore, if you will get the difference of these two integers or two numbers, let's say A minus B, this will become zero. Diba? Kay ato man sila gi-equate nga A is equal to B. So therefore, kung ato sila A minus ang duha, that will give us zero. And dividing a number by zero is not allowed or because it can give you, it's either undefined or indeterminate. Diba? That's the rule of a rational expression or even rational functions. You have to avoid having a denominator of zero. Okay. Kahit kung naakay denominator nga zero, it can make your equation or expression undefined or indeterminate. So kanin pa lang, sayup na siya. Because A minus B is zero. And this is not allowed. Okay? So that's why, nakakita man tag usa ka false nga premise, usa ka false nga statement, therefore, the whole argument is invalid. Okay? Ano lang? Okay? 1 is not actually equal to 2. 